Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host, Mr. Brody, is here. I'm going to be playing another game from the 1978 season. The Boston Red Sox using Stratomatic Baseball. 2017 version. And we're going to be doing the second game and a three-game series with the Milwaukee Fur Brewers, the first place Milwaukee Brewers. Um, the Red Sox lost yesterday's opening game on Friday night, August 4th. And... Um, are now five games behind the Yankees. So, hey, Miss Max. A little bit of a new setup here we're trying out. Yes, may need to reorganize it a little bit here, but got a makeshift thing for tonight. So this is game two of the series with Dennis Eckersley going against, I want to say Eduardo Rodriguez, or I can't think of his first, or Elrod Rodriguez. We'll find out in a second. Anyway, uh, Red Sox... Still have a chance to win this series. Uh, they can win the next two games. Hey, Miss Mags. <laughs> so, let's get this game underway. And this is game number, I believe it's game number 100 and... It's either 108 or 109 of the season. It is actually 108 of the season. So, only 54 games left after this one. Play ball. Welcome. So, all right, so play ball. So it is Eduardo Rodriguez on the hill for the Milwaukee Brewers at County Stadium here in Milwaukee. And it's a bad day. Last night's game was a bad night. So it's a bad day game here. Um, bad weather. And as you can see, they have a day picture here. Last night they had a different picture. So Eduardo Rodriguez comes in with a 5-1 and one record with a 4.64 earn run average. 52 innings pitch, 60 hits allowed. 52 walks and 24 strikeouts, and it's surrendered seven homers. In the actual season, he was 5-5, five and five, so hopefully he's on his downtrend now, although his ERA is higher than it was back then. Um, so we'll see uh, We'll see if the Red Sox can capitalize on that and get a W today. So their lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox is as follows. Rick Burleson, the shortstop, will bat first. Second baseman Jerry Remy bats second. The left fielder Jim Rice third. Batting cleanup the first baseman Kyle Yastrzemski. Batting fifth behind the plate Carlton Fisk. The center fielder Fred Lynn bats sixth. Gary Hancock is the DH today. Batting seventh. Batting eighth the right fielder Dwight Evans. And the third baseman Butch Hobson will bat ninth. So that's the lineup for the visiting Red Sox. Burleson comes in hitting 282 with a homer and 35 runs batted in. The defense behind Sorensen, uh, Rodriguez is as follows. Heisel in left, Thomas in center, Lascano in right. Heisel had a big day yesterday with two homers. And I believe five runs batted in. Thomas in center had a had the game-winning home run in yesterday's game. So Heisel and Thomas, both above average range. Lascano, excellent range in right. And very good error ratings overall in the outfield. Above average. 
Uh, Thomas with the best arm in cent. Well, actually, Lascano with the best arm in right field with a excellent arm of minus three. Thomas above average in center with minus two, and Larry Heisel with a below average arm of plus two. In the infield, it's going to be Bando, Yount, Money, and Ogilvy left to right. Bando and Yount are above average range. Yount will commit a quite a few errors at shortstop. Money below average range at second, and also Ogilvy below average range at first. Ogilvy getting a start today at first. And arrow wise on Ogilvy will commit quite a few errors at first base. Money at pretty average at second. Behind the plate, getting a start today is Larry Moore. Moore below average range, average arm, and we'll commit a few errors at sh at um, behind the plate. Rodriguez average range with a good good at holding runners on, which will negate some of Moore's averageness at throwing runners out. So, Rodriguez looks in for the sign for more. Here's the wind-up in the pitch. And strings over it for strike three. So one gone in the Red Sox first. Brings up Jerry Remy. Remy comes in hitting 305 with two homers and 34 runs batted in. And it's going to be out the five column of Rodriguez. And it'll be a ground ball to money. Grabs it and throws the first for out number two. Jim Rice up now. He homered yesterday. His 32nd of the year. He comes in hitting 313 with 32 homers and 93 runs batted in. Here's the pitch by Rodriguez. And he'll line up to Bando for out number three. So the Red Sox go in order in the first. So Dennis Eckersley on the hill for the Red Sox today. He comes in with a 13 and 7 record, 3.01 earn run average, 100, 171 innings pitched, 153 strike uh, hits allowed, 44 walks and 87 strikeouts, and has surrendered 17 homers. So the defense around Eckersley: Rice and left, Lynn in center, Evans in right. Rice and I mean uh, Lynn and Evans, excellent range. Evans with a superior arm in right. The cannon. Lynn above average arm in center. And Rice with an average arm in right. Rice the least error prone in left. And Lynn and, and, and uh, Evans above average and error rise in center and right respectively. In the infield, it's Hobson, Burleson, Remy, and Yastrzemski. Remy and Yastrzemski with, with above average range. Commit a few errors, but not that many. Burleson will commit his share of errors at shortstop, but has excellent range. And Hobson below average range and commits a ton of errors at third. Behind the plate, Fisk, excellent range. Above average arm and very low error rating. Eckersley average range. And does not hold runners on well at all. With a plus four. So the lineup for the Milwaukee Brewers is Robin Yount, the shortstop, bats first. Don Money, the second baseman, bats second. The first baseman today, Ben Ogilvy, bats third. Batting cleanup. Larry Heisel, the left fielder. Batting fifth and DHing today is Cecil Cooper. The right fielder, sixth, Dolores Cano, will bat sixth. Sal Bando, the third baseman, bats seventh. Gorman Thomas, in center, bats eighth, and behind the plate, Charlie Moore will round out the Milwaukee lineup. So Yount comes in hitting 288 on the season with five homers and 32 runs batted in. It's going to be off his two column. Should be a ground ball to his counterpart, Burleson. He's up with it over to Yastrzemski for out number one. Don Money up now. Money hitting 303 on the season with nine homers and 44 runs batted in. So here's the wind up in the pitch. It's going to be off of the two column of of money. And swung on a miss for strike three. 
So Eckersley with his first K of the day. I'm going to bring up the first baseman, Ben Ogilvie. Comes in hitting 292 with 11 homers and 40 runs batted in. And this will be off of Eckersley's five column. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Evans is there, and he'll make the catch. So the Brewers also go in order in the first, and after one full, no score. Captain Kyle Shemsky will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the top of the second, hitting 283 in the season with 11 homers and 51 runs batted in. And it's going to be off the one column. And he's going to line out to money at second for out number one. So one up and one down. That'll bring up Carlton Fisk. Fisk hitting 308 in the season. He homered in yesterday's game too with 14 homers and 59 runs batted in. That's going to be off the four column. And that's going to be hit to left center field. Thomas won't get to it. And he'll reach second with a double. So one out double for Fisk. So Fred Lynn with an RBI opportunity. He comes in hitting 292 with 21 homers and 68 runs batted in. This will be off the six column. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. Fisk will hold at third. So I'll put runners on the corners for Gary Hancock. Hancock comes in hitting just one for 10 on the season with an RBI. Chance to get another RBI here. Corners are playing in. Bando and Ogilvy. Here's the windup in the pitch, and this is going to be off of the three column. And that's going to be a ground ball to money. Over to second for one, back to first, and he turns the double play. So Hancock unable to get the job done. And the Red Sox threaten but do not score in the second. So after one and a half, no score. Larry Heisel comes up, as we said mentioned earlier. He's hit, he hit his 29th and 30th home runs yesterday, now up to 30 home runs on the season. He hit 34 for the entire season, so he could break that fairly easily. Also hitting 291 with 83 runs batted in. Oh, and he's going to get another one to hit here. And that's hit deep to right. Rice is there at the corner, at the wall. Jumps, and he gets it. So he definitely robbed him of extra bases there. Possibly a home run. Let's look at some scores from around the league. Detroit shutting out Chicago 4 to nothing. Parrish has hit his 13th home run for Detroit. Yankees lead Baltimore 1 0. Figaro and McGregor dueling. Minnesota and California are scoreless. Kansas City with the lead over Toronto 3 0. Oakland edging Seattle 2 1. Keogh and McLaughlin dueling. And Texas is on top of Cleveland 2 0. So Cesar Cooper, the former Red Sox, will come up to face Eckersley here. Eckersley in his first year with the Red Sox. Eckersley hitting. I mean, uh, Cooper hitting 322 in a season with six homers and 26 runs batted in. And that's going to be off the four column, Eckersley. And checks his swing. And the umpire says he did swing. So strike three. As Cooper is not happy with that one. So Eckersley with a second strikeout and the second out of the second. Under Brian Lascano. Lascano comes in hitting, having a great season so far, hitting 355. With 12 homers and 52 runs batted in. And this will be off of his two column. And that's a ground ball to Burleson. Throws across the diamond over to Yastrzemski for out number three. So once again, the Brewers go in order. And still no score after two. Dewey Evans comes to the plate now. He's hitting 260 on the season with 16 homers and 61 runs batted in. Rodriguez looks in for the sign for more. Here's the windup in the pitch. And that's a liner to second. Money has it for out number one. Number nine hitter Hobson up now. Hobson hitting 278 in the season with nine homers and 40 runs batted in. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. So Hobson, Hobson has a one out single. Ogilvy will hold him on. 
And Rick Burleson up now. Strikeout victim his first time up. And he'll draw a walk on the 12 split roll. So Hobson moving to scoring position now. Runners on first and second with one down. Jeremy Remy up to the plate. Grounded out his first time up. And Remy's going to get a good one to hit here. See if the Red Sox can get on top here. And he lays off of it and takes it inside for a ball. So that'll load the bases for Jim Rice. Rice lined out his first time up. So Hobson at third, Burleson at second, and Remy at first. Hey, Miss Mags. The base is loaded for Jim Ed Rice. Let's see what he can do on the season, on the bat here. And this is going to be off the five column. And he is going to pop out the first. I'll believe he's there and makes the catch. So two outs. Now the base is loaded for Yastrzemski. See if Yaz can put the Red Sox on top here. He lined out his first time up. And he's going to get a good one here. Let's see what he can do with it. And that's going to be a base hit past Ogilvy. One run's going to come in. And we're going to send Burleson. Ooh, 60% chance. Hmm, I think we'll send him. Why not? It's early in the game. Here comes the windmill. And... Burleson scores easily as the trailing runners both advance on the throw home. So the Red Sox take a 2 nothing lead now. Mr. Rody, don't touch. Don't get out of there. Don't touch the cord. Don't, 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 don't touch the cord. Okay. All right. There we go. Mr. Brody is back. So Fisk up now. Red Sox with a 2 nothing lead now on the RBI single by Yastrzemski advancing the second on the throw home. Fisk doubled his first time up. And it's going to be a ground ball to Yount at short. He's a two range. And he gets in front of it. And he'll make the play over to Ogilvy for out number three. The Red Sox score two and take a 2 nothing lead on the RBI sing, uh, two-run single by Yastrzemski. So Eckersley now with the lead back on the hill. He'll face the bottom third of the order, Bando, Thomas, and Moore. Bando comes in hitting 270 with 10 homers and 36 runs batted in. And that'll be a ground ball to Hobson at third. Two hopper. Fires over to first. And is one down in the Milwaukee third. So that brings up Gorman Thomas. Th Thomas homer in yesterday's game is 28th of the season, which proved to be the game winner. He comes in hitting 302 with 28 homers and 66 runs batted in. And it's going to be off the four column. It's going to be a line out to Burleson for out number two. So Charlie Moore up now. Moore getting a start today. Comes in hitting 285 on the season with seven homers and 31 runs batted in. He's already hit more home runs than he did in the actual season. He only hit five in the actual season and has tied his RBI total for the year. And it's going to be off the five column. And that'll be a fly ball to Lynn in center. He's under it and makes the catch. So the Brewers once again go in order in the third. And after three full, the Red Sox two and the Brewers nothing. So Freddie Lynn will lead it off for the Sox here in the fourth. Lynn singled his first time up. That's going to be a ground ball to Bando at third. He's a two, a two range. Oh, and this is going to be a base hit here. It's unable to get to it. And actually he does get to it. And he throws it away, it looks like. Yeah, that's going to go up the line. So Lynn will, go, Lynn will get two extra bases on the arrow, which went all the way into the right field corner. Caromed off and... Before Lascana could track it down. 
So Lynn all the way at third with nobody out. So Hancock with another chance to get an RBI here. He grounded to a double play his last time up. And it's going to be off the three column. That's going to be a ground ball to Ogilvy. Lynn breaks for home. And Ogilvy fires to Lynn going home and nails him. So Freddie Lynn took a chance there with nobody out. And Ogilvy guns him down. So Hancock reaches on the field this choice. So Evans up now, 0 for 1. And it's a called third strike. So Evans down on strikes. So let's look at the scores again. Detroit still ahead of Chicago, 4 0. Yankees on top of the Orioles, 5 to 3 now. The Sensei is his 13th home run for Baltimore. Minnesota and California scoreless. Kansas City shutting out Toronto, still 3 0. Oakland increases the lead over Seattle now, 3 to 1. Texas crushing Cleveland, 9 0. Benitez has hit his eighth home run for Texas, and here Milwaukee's ahead. Boston's ahead of Milwaukee, two to nothing. So Hobson up now, singled his first time up, and he'll ground one back to Rodriguez. Fires over to first, and that'll do it for the Red Sox. The Red Sox cannot take advantage of the two base error. And it remains 2 nothing Boston. So top of the order. Yount up for the Milwaukee Brewers against Eckersley here in the fourth. The bottom of the fourth. Yount grounded out his first time up. And that's going to be the first hit of the ball game for Milwaukee. Pulls one to the left. Through the hole. Rice retrieves and throws it back in. So Yastrzemski will hold Yount on. Money up now, a strikeout victim his first time up. Oh, and it's going to be a fastball in the dirt. Fisk blocks it nicely. And Yount is going to run, though, and Fisk will hold on to it as it's an 85% chance with an 8% chance of error. So he's going to hold on to it. So Yount gets himself a stolen base. So a run in scoring position now for Money. And this one's going to bounce away from Fisk, too. <laughs> As Yount moves to third on the wild pitch. So Fisk goes out to talk to Eckersley. As he throws two pitches in the dirt. Goes back behind the plate. Eckersley looks in for the sign. Looks at the runner. Kicks and delivers. And strikes him out. A nice change up there for Eckersley. So one down for Ogilvy. Ogilvy flew out his first time up. And this is going to be a ground ball to Burleson. It should get the run home. Burleson in front of it. And fires over to Yastrzemski. And Ogilvy is called out in a close play. So Ogilvy gets an RBI on the ground out. And it's 2 to 1 Boston now. So Larry Heisel up now. Flew out his first time up. And this time he strikes out on the curve. Misses it in the dirt. So Milwaukee gets on the board. And it's 2 1 Boston after 4 full. The Rooster up now. Top of the order for the Red Sox. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. He'll get a good one to hit here. But he'll line it right to Bando for out number 1. Jerry Remy up now. His first year with the Red Sox. He's 0 for, after being acquired from the Angels. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. And he'll line out to Money. So two quick outs for the Red Sox. Brings up Rice 0 for 2 on the day. And that's going to be a fly ball to Lascano and right. Gets in front of it. And he'll make the play for the final out of the Red Sox fifth. 
So halfway through, it's Boston 2 and Milwaukee 1. It'll be Cooper, Lascano, and Bando up for the Brew Crew. Cooper struck out against Eckersley his first time up. And this time he'll get a base hit past Yastrzemski. So Yastrzemski will hold on Cooper. Lascano up now. And Cooper Eckersley fires to first, and he's out. So Eckersley, with a great move, gets Cooper leaning too far and picks him off. So big play there by, by uh, Eckersley and the tag by Yastrzemski. So Lascano up now. And Lascano is going to go deep. That's going to go all the way, just barely, almost got out of here. As the Lynn jumps for it, it bounces off the fence, and Lascano will be at second with a double. That most likely probably would have scored Cooper, but he fortunately got picked off. Thankfully for the Red Sox, he did. So runner in scoring position with one down for Sal Bando, grounded out his first time up. And that's going to be a walk to Bando, Eckersley's first walk allowed today. So Gorman Thomas, he could easily put the Brewers Brew Crew ahead here. Or more. Lined out his first time up. Oh, not that column. But a good result there as he'll fly out to Lynn. Got under it just a little bit. So two outs now. It's up to Charlie Moore. He needs to continue. Moore flew out his first time up. Oh, and he's going to get a single up the middle. 80% chance to score. We're not going to chance it here. We're going to stop the others from advancing. So the Brew Crew ties it up on the RBI single by Charlie Moore. So Eckersley looking to get out of this one, not keep it a tie ball game. Bando gets his lead off second. Oh, and he's not going to do it. That's going to be a base hit to right. They're going to wave the runner home. Evans is up with it. He's going to throw home. We're going to let the ball fly through for a play at home. And he is out. So Dwight Evans, once again with a cannon for an arm, throws out Bando trying to score the go-ahead run. And that's going to end the inning. Milwaukee does score a one and ties the game at two. So after five full, it's two to two. The so Ostremski responsible for both Boston runs with an RBI single back in the second comes to the plate. I mean, back in the third. He's one for two on the day. And range check on Thomas here. Gets in front of it. And he's going to make the catch for out number one. So Fisk up now, one for two with a double. It's going to be a ground ball back to Rodriguez. He's a three range. Picks it up. And throws him out. So two, two outs in the Red Sox, sixth. Freddie Lynn up now. He singled a couple times, two for two. And this time he'll line out to money. Makes the catch for out number three. The Red Sox will go in order in the sixth. And so we'll head to the home half of the sixth with the score tied at two. Money up now. He strike, struck out twice against Eckersley, but he's going to get a good one to hit here. And he'll get a base hit up the middle. So Money gets on for the first time today. Lead off single. Ogilvy up now, 0 for 2 with an RBI. And Eckersley throws over to, to Money to try to nail Money. Money's back safe. He takes a shorter lead now. And this could be two. Ground ball to Yastrzemski. Over to Burleson for one. Back to first. 
Double play. So 3-6-3, three, three, twin killing. Check out the scores there again. Yankees still ahead 63 over Baltimore. Check out the rest of the scores there. So Larry Heisel up now with the bases empty and two down. 0 for 2 on the day. And that one's hit right to Burleson. Leaps and makes the catch. So great range on that play displayed by Burleson. So nothing doing for Milwaukee in the sixth and remains 2-2 as we head to the seventh. Let's check out Hancock. I think we might want to pinch hit for him. Let's see what his usage is up to. He's only up to 19%, so we got to use him, so. All right. <laughs> we'll have him at least come one more bat. He'll ground out to money for out number one. Dwight Evans up now. 0 for 2 on the day. Struck out his last time up. Evans is going to get a good one to hit here. Let's see what he can do with it. <sighs> He's going to line. That was a weird ball. Lines out to Yount. Pop up. Pops up to Yount for out number 2. That'll bring up Hobson, in one for two. And he's going to get under one here. And actually, Heisel is going to have to dive for that one as he misjudged that one a little bit. He makes a great diving catch for the third out of the seventh. Here's a trivia question brought to you by Mr. Brody and Miss Mags. LK Line won how many batting titles in his career? I'm going to say three. I'm just taking a guess there. So lock in your answers. All right. Let's see how many adding titles LK line won. One in 1955. Hit 340. So thank you for that trivia question, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags. So head to the bottom of the home half of the seventh, tied at two. Eckersley back on the hill. Eckersley up very economical, 71 pitches through six innings. So he'll face Cooper, Lascano, and Bando. Cooper one for two on the day. I think that one for three as he grounds out to Remy. Cuts it off, spins, throws, and beats Cooper by a step. Lascano up now, one for two. He doubled his last time up. And this time he'll fly out to Lynn for out number two. Two outs in the base is empty for Bando, 0 for one with a walk. And he'll walk for the second time today. So Eckersley's issued two walks, both of them to Bando. Thomas up now. 0 for 2 on the day. As Bando's unable to get a good lead. And that is going to be hit back on the screen. And, oh, near the screen. And he makes the catch. Nope, they're saying that he touched the screen. The ball did. So he's going to rip one to third. But right at Hobson, who makes the catch for the easy out. So after seven full, we're still tied at two. Red Sox will send the top of the order against Rodriguez Rodriguez up to 101 pitches through seven. Oglivy and Bando are going to guard the lines, but no doubles defense. Burleson's 0 for 2 with the run scored. He walked back in the third. And. Hard shot into the left field. As Yawn almost gets through it, but not quite. So Burleson will be on with a leadoff single. Jerry Remy up now. I think we're going to have Remy bunt. Yes. Jerry Remy will be called upon the bunt. Remy 
Remy an A bunter. Remy somehow gets the bunt down. Ogilvy picks it up, fires to first. So great bunt by Remy. Then will move Burleson in the scoring position for Rice. Rice is over three on the day. So a single could put the Red Sox ahead here. And he's going to get a base hit to right. In for a base hit. And Burleson will come around the score. So the Red Sox take the lead here at the top of the eighth on the RBI single by Jim Rice. Dostremski up now. He's one for three with a two-run single back in the third. And that's going to be it for Rodriguez. As Andy Raplogo comes in, he pitched in yesterday's game. He's pitched 100 innings so far in 22 games and has an 8-1 record with a 3.15 earned run average. So that's going to be a ground ball to money. Flips to Yount for one, back to first. And they turn two. Damage is done as Jim Rice gets an RBI single to put the Red Sox ahead. Eckersley back out for the eighth. He'll face Moore, Yount, and Money. Moore had an RBI single his last time up. One for two on the day. And he's going to fly out to Rice. Rice has a long run. And he gets to it and makes the catch. So Yount up now two for three with a run scored. He singled his last two times up. And this time he'll line one to Remy for out number two. So two gone in the Milwaukee eighth. Don Money up now. He's one for three with a single. And he'll strike out for the third time today. Eckersley's fifth K of the day. And that's going to be it for Milwaukee in the eighth. So ahead to the ninth. The Red Sox looking to add some insurance here, up three to two. That'd be Fisk, Lynn, and Hancock. Well, we'll probably pinch hit for Hancock, especially if anybody gets on. Lynn's one for three with a double. Oops. And Fisk holds up, and they're saying no. They're saying he didn't run around because they appealed the first. Fist not too happy with that call. So Lin up now. He's two for three with a couple of singles. And he'll draw a walk now. So one out walk. And now we're definitely going to pinch hit for Hancock. So Hancock's day is done. And let's see. Who do we bring in the pinch hit? I guess we can bring in the boomer there. See if he can boom one out of here. Actually, bro hammer isn't bad either. Uh, not really. Oops, righties. Let's see here. Let me check bro hammer against light. Bro hammer against righties. He's got a few walks there. Homer singles. Uh, not the greatest card for Boomer there. Definitely don't want to bring in Bailey against the righty. Hmm. I guess we'll go with Brohammer. Let's bring in Brohammer. Why not? We do a double. No, I think we're going to leave him in. Because we want to have him come in for... Uh, for Hobson in the bottom of the night. So we're going to bring in the boomer, George Scott, to pinch hit. So Scott comes in hitting two, 232 with eight homers and 30 runs batted in. So here's the pitch to the boomer. It's going to be a ground ball to third. Range check on Bando. Gets in front of it. And let's see if he can turn two. Might not be hit hard enough. Nope. Only play is the first. As Lynn moves in the scoring position now with two down on the ground out by Scott. Evans up to the plate now. 0 for 3 on the day. Let's see if Evans can put the Red Sox ahead by two. And nope. He'll fly out to his counterpart in right. This is Kano makes the catch. 
And that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, and no errors, and one man left on base. So we head to the bottom of the ninth. Eckersley, very economical, 98 pitches. He'll be out there to try to close it. In the Red Sox bullpen, a little rest here. Yeah, they're not in that bad of shape, but still, I think we're gonna, we're actually gonna do a defensive replacement here as we're gonna bring in Burrowhammer for Hobson at third. So Burrowhammer comes in as a defensive replacement for Hobson. So Ogilvy 0 for 3 on the day, does have an RBI. RBI ground out. And he's going to fly out to Lynn for out number one. Routine fly. So one gone in the Milwaukee ninth. Larry Heisel, you could tie it up in one swing of the bat. So far, held in check today. He's 0 for 3. And Eckersley called strike 3 as Heisel was frozen on the fastball. So one, Milwaukee down to the last out. Some final scores here. Detroit beats Chicago 6-2. to two. Yankees win 9-4 to four for Baltimore. Minnesota shut out California 2-0. Minnesota. I'm sorry. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, I think I did say Minnesota. Shut out California 2 -0. Kansas City shut out Toronto 4 nothing. Otis hit his 21st home run for Kansas City. Oakland beat Seattle 4-2. to two. Uh, Texas all over Cleveland. They beat them 11 to 4 as Benitez hit his eighth home run for the Rangers. So Cesar Cooper, one for three on the day. Walking down the last out, as we mentioned. And he's going to hit one to Remy. Jumps and snares it for out number three, and that will end the game. So the Red Sox hang on and win a tight one, three to two. And pull back to within four games of the Brew Crew. Well, let's check our box score here. Mr. Brody quite happy with the Red Sox victory there. So with the win, the Red Sox improved to 64 and 44. Still four games off their pace. They were 68 and 40 at this point. They did win this game in actuality. So Eckersley gets his 14th win, pitches a complete game, giving up six hits, two runs, both of them earned, two walks, and six strikeouts. And Wado Rodriguez takes the loss, five and two. With pitches seven and third innings, allowing seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, two walks, and two strikeouts. Rapogle comes in and pitches an inning and two thirds of scoreless ball, allowing a walk and a strikeout. See, for the Red Sox, Rick Burleson, 1 for 3 with 2 runs scored. Remy was 0 for 2, I believe, with a walk or 2. I think he, I know he has a sacrifice bunt, too. Jim Rice, actually, that was a big sacrifice bunt as that led to the winning run. Jim Rice, 1 for 4 with a run scored. Let me start with an RBI. That was the game winner there. Stremski one for four with two run, two RBIs. Fisk one for four. Freddie Lynn was two for three. Hancock was zero for three. George Scott is, was a pinch hitter, one for zero for one. Evans zero for four. Hobson one for three with a run scored, and Brohammer came in as a defensive replacement and did not get a, an at bat. So Robin Yount for the Brew Crew was two for four with a run scored. Money one for four. Ogilvy 0 for four with an RBI. Heisel was held in check today after hitting two home runs yesterday. 0 for four. Cooper one for four. Lascano one for three with a run scored. Bando was just 0 for one. I think he might have walked. Yeah, he walked twice. Gorman Hot Thomas also held in check today after homering yesterday. 0 for three. Charlie Moore was one for three with an RBI. So player of the game, pretty easy there. I think it's going to be Dennis Eckersley pitching a complete game, allowing two runs. Yeah, right now 2.96. And his record 14 and 7. 
believe he has the most wins on the Red Sox. So the Eckersley really completed the game without help from the bullpen at County Stadium as the Red Sox beat the Brewers 3-2. Eckersley, 4-7, contributed a very nicely pitched game. He didn't give up much, just six hits and two walks in nine innings. And Boston finished with seven hits in the victory. So Roger Rodriguez has hit with a loss. He surrendered three runs and seven hits and seven and a third innings. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from High Ground Gaming, and let's check the standings now. After that, Red Sox victory there. So the Red Sox now four games behind the Brew Crew, just a game and a half behind the Yankees still, as the Yankees are just two and a half out of first now with the loss from Milwaukee. Kansas City with a one-game lead over over California in the West. And see the Orioles have lost five in a row. The White Sox have also lost five in a row. Detroit on the march as they've won eight in a row. But still 18 games out. So that's pretty much it. So thank you for joining me. Let's look at see who's going to pitch in the rubber game here. Also, we can check to see these uh, Yankees all over Baltimore. So the Red Sox got to win to keep pace there. So the next game, it's going to be Louis Tia on the mound for the Red Sox against Bill Travers for the for the Brew Crew. The Red Sox looking to win the series. Two games to one if they can get a victory. So take care and God bless. And if you like these videos, definitely like and subscribe. Um, definitely if you want to see more. Definitely hit that like button as it will probably try to focus on the videos we're getting the most likes with because we do have a lot of series going on here with the most views. Um, yeah, we're trying to get, going to get some regular, we play a lot of Stratomatic during the week because, uh, I just got a job during the week working at nights right now. And, uh, Stratomatic is probably the easiest game to come in and just throw up and play a game. And, uh, our other series, especially on Inside Pitch, we're nearing, getting all the pictures into those games. So those games should be able to be played fairly easily. And uh, Diamond Mind Baseball, our greatest teams league there, We've still got quite a few pictures, pictures to lead there. I mean, to uh, do there. So we're going to try to play those games mostly on the weekends right now when we have time to load up all the pictures and everything. So coming along nicely, though. So take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next Stratomatic 1978 Red Sox season featuring the Boston Red Sox. Right, Mr. Brody? And Mr. Brody also wanted to remind you that he is currently managing the 1977 Red Sox in our Out of the Park Baseball Series too. So check out that series as Mr. Brody is going to attempt to, to um, reconstruct the 1977 Red Sox to see if they can win a championship in the 1978 season. By He's already gotten rid of Butch Hobson and has shored up the pitching staff with Gaylord Perry and Doc Medich. Also signed La Grande Orange, Rusty Staub, as the DH. And so we'll see how that goes. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.